Do an update on these trundles turned king size bed. I attached the headboard to the wall using a French cleat. Make sure you get one that is strong enough to hold it. The headboard I used at the foot of the bed, I screwed into from the trundle bed after I added the peel and stick fabric to cover up the black outline. I used that peel and stick fabric to cover up the sides of the trundle to make it look like it matched the headboard and the footboard. Not the easiest or the cheapest option, but it really did look amazing. I wrapped every square inch of exposed white bed. I used the legs that came with the headboard to fill the gap between the bed and the wall. To cover up the exposed part of the footboard, I found this tablecloth cloth that was a great color match. I accidentally bought the wrong size tablecloth and the wrong kind of fabric tape, but once I get those in and attached, this is what the exposed footboard will look like. I also need more fabric for the other side. It's now sold out after sharing in stories. I tried wrapping the bed in the tablecloth because it would be a lot cheaper, but I got frustrated and gave up. So let me know if you figure this out. The side that's done looks so good. A four inch mattress stays in the trundle and I keep extra bedding in the drawer below. We've had no issue with the bed staying together and don't worry, you can get